What's up guys, welcome back to our back bay project. I'm pulling all the site protection. Painters are doing touch-ups downstairs. Cleaners come tomorrow, and I'm going to be leaving the keys to this beautiful home to their clients tomorrow at lunch so they get to move in. But before we go, I just wanna show you some of the details that are coming together here. So let me stick this out there. We're gonna go back in there, Doug. Starting in the primary bathroom, this is a Devlime liquid marble pro uh, product throughout the entire space, ceiling, walls. Uh, it's almost this cementitious look. I'm gonna turn all the lights on here. Get boom, boom. That's the fan. Cementitious, monolithic, you can see on the floor, up the walls, really, really cool. If you guys have been paying attention, uh, this has all been weedy, waterproofed, stow product on top of that for a base layer, and then the Deva Lime uh, product here. This is a really cool detail. All the glass is obviously frameless, buried it, everything in the wall. Uh, traditionally, you have a handle on your shower glass. We decided to make this notch here. Let me explain a couple things about it. This notch, big enough for your hand, you can pull it open. But the nice thing is this, this can be sit, sat right tight against the wall and there's no handle bouncing off the wall here. Uh, but it's also really slick looking so when it's shut, nothing sticks out. The height and the dimension of it actually matches this pocket door here. Check this out, frosted glass, watch when it shuts. Completely frameless. There's actually a dado in the jam here, so it actually r runs into that dado and hits a weather stripping uh, so for a nice soft close. That is Eclipse hardware, for those that will, will be asking. I'm gonna be doing this all day, even though the cleaners are coming tomorrow. Uh, so Eclipse hardware up in the ceiling. Really, really well done. Back in the shower here. Open this up. They have all the Dornbrock fixtures. Shower head has been tested. Rain head above here. We have our controls, our body jets, our handheld. Nice big shower, big niche on both sides, his and hers. But let's go into the next room. All wall mounted toilets. Cabinetry is actually by Pogan Pole. Um, this, they actually had sourced these cabinets prior to us taking on this job. So stone manufacturer, uh, actually the manufacturer of the quartz fabricated these sinks for us in all the locations across the seas. Uh, and waited for a container and the homeowner actually tracked the container uh, all the way to the United States. Primary bedroom in here, we have our patio out there, custom closets. We actually manufactured a lot of this cabinetry in here. Stainless rods, pretty simple, straightforward, um, but overall they're getting their belonging, belongings in here. Up top, second floor, the awesome wet bar area. Same thing, this is all poke and pole cabinetry. Uh, like I said, the cleaners will come tomorrow. You can see the true fig on our stone, but we also have all the true fig switches on the wall so we can control lighting. Awesome, awesome laundry room tucked in here. So a few people had asked why the laundry room up here. Uh, it seems like an odd spot. It's the best spot for where it needs to be. It's right off the primary bedroom, but we got an awesome machine in there, custom cabinetry, hampers on both sides, tucked away. So when it's all shut, you never know what's in here. Hardware is by Fermarni, really, really great hardware. Handrails, now that they're uncovered, made by Rich Costa, stainless. Same thing with the mono stringer. We've talked about this mono stringer a handful of times, but I just wanna really call attention to the detail now that it's all taken, you know, all the protection is taken off, but these treads are designed to look like they're just resting on the mono stringer with no stanchion underneath them. We did that by installing a flat plate inside the center of that. If you wanna see that, there's another video I'm sure, Doug, you can tag that in the video here. Um, but it's, you know, that detail along with these end caps were, that are all grain matched. So that grain runs continuous all the way through. So I'm sure you a great, great one right here. You can see how that grain runs through, right through the glass. We'll do the roof deck another time. You guys have seen that. Um, but we got our, our grill installed up there, our fire pit, um, and of course, the walkable skylight. Um, Standing here, you can see all the belongings are coming in because they are moving in. Um, but this is really where I feel like you can appreciate a lot of the detail in this space. If you're looking down, you're able to see the skylight above, the really, really great details with the HVAC slot events, return vents here on the wall. It's really everything was thoughtfully put together, thought, thought out, and overall just the simplicity 
it's, it's hard to really capture the simplicity and, and the difficulty behind the simplicity, but there's things like when I stand here, there's nothing support, there's no, there's no channel in that glass that's sitting on top of the floor. Traditionally, you would see this three and a half or four inch piece of aluminum sitting on the floor. Everything is thought through, buried in the floor, so it's really this nice seamless look. Same thing in the wall, the, wall, the glass goes all the way into a, a channel on the wall, and what that prevents us from having to do is having, you know, too many clips in the wall, too many clips on the floor, and just overall just a really clean look. Everything is wall to wall, same thing here, you can see how the glass just tucks all the way into it, um, and then thoughtfully designed where it ties right into the corner of this monostringer staircase. Let's go downstairs. You guys had asked us or, or commented that this was not code compliant. Well, our returns weren't on, and they are now. It's kept off the wall. There's a nice gap between there, um, but it's also, rather than being a continuous piece, it's just this nice square piece, really intentional, looks great. Keeps the handrail off the wall, uh, and then our, our escutcheons are all buried in the wall. We've talked about that a handful of times before. Uh, just a really, really great detail. As you come down here, you can see this there completely uncovered. Same thing with the glass. Everything is buried into this stringer. I know we've talked about it a hundred times, but it just, as this stuff comes, becomes uncovered, I, I love to show it off and, and talk about all the hard work that everyone has done. What we haven't showed you is the stair lighting down here. So we wanted, this is a, a secondary stair. A lot of times they're gonna be using the elevator to enter the unit. Um, this staircase actually goes to the main uh, vestibule all the way down to the lobby, uh, but it is within their unit, so we have our stainless handrail. That right there is a motion detector, so when I walk up, my regular reveal all the way down the stairs lights up, keeps it nice and lit. I'm not having to hit the light switch or turn the lights off. Same thing when we get down here, just around this corner, you can see a, you might not be able to see it, but there's the same motion sensor, so as you come down here, um, these lights turn on uh, and give you an illuminated staircase to come. Our guest bathroom, we have the same double line finish in here, uh, just a slightly different color. Um, interestingly enough, the, the talk about the difficulties of the project, the color was really difficult in here. Um, we were chasing and chasing and chasing and months and months and months went by, but thankfully, Virg and his team, Jessica and her team, came together and got our color spot on in here. We have our occlusive lighting that lights up that wall. What I love, love, love about that is that you actually see the hand texture of that back wall and it really gives that cementitious liquid marble look. You see that hand texture across that whole wall, plus illuminates the inside of this tub. Now you might be asking, there's no curtains, there's no glass. It's intentional. We, the, the client decided to not put glass or curtain. Uh, realistically, it's gonna be used as a tub, possibly for children. Uh, and over time, we did install blocking here so we could always put what we would call a splash panel. And typically in that case, we would go halfway and have it on hinges so it could swing out of the way so you would still have full access. Really good tub, if you guys don't remember, look back, we built this tub on the CNC out of weed. So we have our two guest bedrooms in here. This one was our first room that we had finished. Um, it's just a really great room to just appreciate the simplicity of the true fig outlet plates, the reset baseboard detail, the regular detail with the shadow reveal, the HVAC registers that when they were near a receptacle, they were centered on. Um, if you guys remember, we routed that in the back of all of our hardwood and used a truck, an automotive truck grill material to create that black mesh. Now, it is a high velocity system. Oh, won't that whistle? It will not. We worked with the engineer to make sure that our boots leading up to the openings in the floor were designed by the same Unico air system. And then the grill we tested, it sounds exactly the same as if it was coming out of that boot, which is great. I do want to call attention to you know the detail on these doors. You know, we have these easy jams. This is an in-swing door, meaning that it swings in, but it comes flush with the outside wall. We have this awesome little half inch reveal that creates this panel detail, so it's not so plain. And then we continued our half inch shadow gap here. We ran it all the way across that door, so it gave more texture than just a flat door. And of course, kept it up on the floor as necessary. Check out this hardware too. We've talked about this Formani hardware. No escutcheon on it. Keeps it just off the door slightly. Push down on it, open it up. 
and all of our, our strike plates, we actually had to have custom made. Um, white sheet metal, uh, neighbor of ours near our shop, worked with us, we drew all this stuff up, we made them work with, basically had to make, combine the Fermarni hardware with the Easy Jams and, base, and build a strike plate that would be compatible with both. Got a power room, climate for a wallpaper in the background and then a accent wall behind the sink. Same thing, hold and hold. Cabinetry, the stone top made by the manufacturer. I should be helping these two, uh, but I'm filming currently. So I'll get some black after, but kitchen is being uncovered, floors are being uncovered. Same thing, we did not fabricate this kitchen. The Pope and Cole kitchen, um, high gloss, lacquer finish, uh, melee appliances, um, really slick. Again, you know, everything in here, single color. You know, the what I'm most excited about to come back in the future, if we're invited, is to see all the furniture in place and just see how this place comes together once you drop the, the pops of color, especially with furnishing, furnishings and finishes. Um, I wanted to talk about, I think they're all extra. Save or? Yeah, we can save them. And then we'll decide to throw them away after. Ah, junk, junk. <clears throat> So standing here, elevator, closed right now. We actually had our sheet metal fabricator fabricate new stainless panels to slip over the old elevator door. So when this is closed, you do have the nice stainless steel to match all of the appliances. And then of course, if they want, they can shut this door. So when someone, you know, when the door is shut, you almost don't even know there's a direct access elevator. And then working our way into this great room. I wish this stuff wasn't here, but rightfully so, they're moving in. We have this awesome fireplace and an awesome look over the Commonwealth Mall, which I did not realize that that grass section in the center of Com Ave was called the Commonwealth Mall. I do now, you do now, uh, but it's great. We, we tucked in some storage as well uh, into these nooks and crannies, which is just fantastic. It's a great use of space especially in the city here. I say every cubic inch counts. Um, subwoofer there. I wish I had access to the music because behind the camera on that wall, you know, it looks like a big plain wall. Same thing with the center of this kitchen. There's actually speakers in that wall that are made by stealth acoustics. You cannot see that. So I just want to stand here for a moment and just kind of appreciate, this is my, uh, my second favorite view. Just looking at stuff like the access panel there's a ton of mechanical equipment up there. Air handler units, boiler, and that whole unit made by Balco comes out and you can access it. But when it's installed, super sleek looking and it's not overbearing, um, you know, I feel like a lot of people would have just installed some sort of normal door and it just would have been an, an eyesore. Same thing over here, right behind this panel, closest to the kitchen, we actually have our entire AV rack and the AV team built this rack that pulls out and you can work on it outside of that cavity and it slides back and in. And then right here, when you have these two registers, um, this register right here, let me finish clicking it in. Same thing with that one. That one right there is actually our makeup air. So when that hood turns on and pulling out 1200 CFM, we have a makeup air unit in here that w warms the air on the cold day and, and dumps it into the space. The nice thing is in here, it's actually not that loud. Uh, so even if you're watching TV and someone's cooking, it's not going to be an overbearing amount of uh, noise because of the, the basically the, cute, uh, the square inches of space that we have. And then this one right here is a vent for our AV unit. That AV unit is going to get hot. Now, you're, you might be thinking, well, that's a really tight cabinet. What if it does get hot and fries the equipment? We thought of that. We actually have a temperature sensor installed with an exhaust fan. So if it gets really hot in there, it's going to click on that exhaust fan. And it's going to suck the hot air out and kick it out through the ERV system in this home outside. And that ERV system is obviously bringing in fresh air. Um, and additionally, in the warmer months, being that you know it may get uh, warm, we have an air conditioning uh, duct in there that dumps in cool air to keep that equipment nice and cool. Also wanted to call attention to the backsplash, which I skipped over, but Jessica uh, from Alternative Finishes did a fantastic job painting all of these plate covers, these are true figs, and she took the time and painted and made sure all the grain went through these plate covers in a really, really meticulous manner. 
So it really just looks well done, thought out. And that is the premise behind this entire project. You know, I could sit here and tell you how long we've been here. It's been a long time. Clients are impatient. We are excited to deliver this home and I cannot wait to see this home when it's completely furnished and photographed and we'll share that in the future. Guys, thanks for sticking around for another site visit. Stay tuned for next week. We'll hop back into Rhode Island. We'll update you with what's going on down there.